well, physically, I hit the roads or I hit the trails. But, uh, you know, I really, I actually read this one, uh, this question a little differently. For me, you know, I think my nightstand is probably the, the you know, the, the perfect example of where I draw inspiration from. I've got books on art. I've got books on computational genomics. I've got books on hydrodynamics, uh, you know, astrophysics, you know, you name it. Uh, I, I think that, you know, to really draw inspiration and, and innovation, it requires this compendium, this broad compendium of knowledge uh, and really uh, this expanse of ideas to draw from. Well, one thing that I've learned at Google is the advantage of having an engineering culture where we, uh, we have end reviews. And uh, we basically you know, have a room full of people. Some, some are subject matter experts, some are not. Uh, and we throw ideas against the wall. And I tend to use that uh, same principle in, in my own uh, development of ideas. And you know, I think you know, healthy criticism is a great way of vetting ideas and uh, getting the best ideas out on the table and, and letting others uh, wither on the vine if, if, uh, if need be. An idea is a good one when I can see people, res it resonates with people, they get excited about it, and they're willing to follow me and put their energy into making it happen. Uh, one example is I started our computational genomics program at Google, and it was an idea that, uh, you know, that I worked on with a number of people, but it now has taken on a life of its own, and I knew it was a good idea. I didn't have all the technical background to implement it, but I brought in technologists, and they were excited, and they actually carried the torch forward. And I think that's a perfect example of where you know, I, good ideas are propagated by people that are subject matter experts that want to follow and, and take the idea and run with it. Hi, I'm Jim Miller. I work for Google, and I run our operations.